Hi everyone, Cecilia here with Bone Health Journey. I hope you're having an awesome weekend. I know it's coming to an end. Today is Sunday. Beautiful and sunny here in North Dakota. A little warmer than it has been and not as windy. Hmm. Those are the kind of days I like when it's not too windy. Got a pot of chili simmering in the slow cooker. It just feels like, you know, winter's here and that is comfort food and it's good for you. I put a lot of kidney beans in there. I love kidney beans. Anyway, that's something I want to talk to you about today. I was reading online. I'm always searching stuff on osteoporosis and osteopenia and women's bone health and their overall health. And I know I've mentioned it many times before about the foods that we ingest and what is good and what is healthy for us. And I know the cost of food has gotten ridiculously high. And I know for a fact myself, um, there's things I don't buy because of the cost. Um, it's becoming a little more and more difficult. You have to be a little more careful about what you're picking up and not checking the prices in the grocery store. But anyway, the holidays are coming. Uh, Christmas is just around the corner. And I was thinking of all that lovely food that we're going to be eating. And then the other night when I was reading, about a lot of women do not, really do not, take osteoporosis very seriously. And there was some articles that I read. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the outcome was not so good because women decided that it wasn't that bad of a bone condition that they really didn't need to um, take care of their bones, uh, feed their bodies properly, take the proper, you know, supplements, vitamins. And the more I read, the more I realized I think that is true. I have come on here many times and made videos. I post blogs. I mention nutrition, vitamins, algae cow, a lot of things that that you can take for your bone health and increase your bone density. Now, I'm not saying that you will increase your bone density to the point of um, what it was when you were 20 or even 30, but you can help slow that process down of, you know, losing your bone density. So I was very, very surprised at what I read and it kind of made me sad because I was thinking the consequences of having a very low bone density, your fracture percentage is very high and fractures can take a long time to heal. And it's a very painful process. And I, I've told you before that I had four compressed fractures in my spine and that pain was excruciating. I think it was worse than giving birth to my children, but, uh, you know, and it's not funny. And if you fall and break a hip at a younger age, an older age, um, it's very serious. So that's what I want to say today is take it seriously. Please check out my blog and the things I have put out there for you to read, um, watch my videos. You know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to encourage you to do what you can for your bone health and please take it seriously. After reading these articles, I was just like, wow, I guess, I guess if, I hate to say this, but I mean, if you had a diagnosis of cancer or something else, you would take charge. You would take charge. But the doctor tells you you have osteoporosis and we're not taking charge, you need to take charge. Just like any other health condition, take charge of it try and slow it down or stop it in its tracks. It's so important, ladies. You have to understand that osteoporosis is a very bad bone condition. It's not something that you want to let get worse, you know? So check out all the things I wrote, read my blogs, give me some feedback. You know, if there's a question that I can answer for you, I will. I'm more than happy. Uh, you can post a comment on one of my blogs or you can message me through Facebook, um, Instagram. So take charge of your bones and check out my Merck store. It's up and running and I'm very excited about that. And um, I hope to have some sales very soon. Uh, these are wear them with pride. 
if you decide that you want to purchase something, I, um, I encourage you to just go in there and check it out. So I just want you guys to understand that osteoporosis is very important. It's a very bad condition to have of your bones. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just trying to wake you up and make sure that you're taking care of yourself and your bone health and your overall health. It is flu season out there. I know some people get the flu shots, some people don't. I did. I got the pneumonia shot this year. I was due for that. My sweater, I'm sorry. <laughs> My pneumonia shot. And so I had them both done on the same day, same arm. I don't know if that was a good idea. But anyway, I I know some believe in it and some don't, and that's completely fine. But I want to protect my immune system. I want to boost my immune system. Um, make sure you're taking some vitamin C and zinc. It is that time of the year, you know. Uh, and we know no one wants to get sick before the holidays. I was sick last year during the holidays, and it sucked. Um, I woke up Christmas morning not feeling the best, but I had been sick for quite a few weeks. And yeah, not good. And check out my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. It helps my channel immensely. And with that, I wish you all a blessed day and a wonderful week ahead, another work week. So we'll just be, you know, counting down to Christmas. Till next time.